Hello everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a, another seasonal trends video for you all. You know how much I love doing these videos for you guys and it gets me so excited for the next season as well. So hopefully I can inspire you today with the ones that I've honed in on. I know I'll probably say this every year, but this year is definitely my favourite. Mainly because a lot of the trends that I'm going to show you today we've already probably got in our wardrobe anyway. So it's all about getting them back out, restyling them a different way and making the most of your wardrobe, which is what we all want to do. So another thing I've noticed this year is a lot of the trends have followed on from spring, summer or even from autumn, winter last year as well. So if you did watch my previous videos and you did invest in a few pieces, then you can absolutely get those back out again and restyle them in a different way. As always, I've done like the catwalk looks and taken a few images from online shops and Pinterest as well, just to show you guys a real mix of what's out there and how you can style it. And if you do want to purchase something, then I'm gonna be styling a few new pieces, some old pieces, and I'll always encourage you guys to shop secondhand as well. I've got so many new season pieces from Vinted and Depop recently. I've handpicked 10 trends today. I think this is the most that I've picked on any other video actually. I usually do about seven to nine, but I just had to do 10 today because there's so many that I personally think will fit into a lovely minimal and neutral wardrobe. As you know, that's my style anyway. So if that's you as well, then you're really gonna benefit from this video, I think. As I always say with my trends videos, these are here to inspire you. I'm not saying you have to buy every single one that's on here. Only buy something if you feel that it's truly gonna slot into your wardrobe easily and you know you're gonna wear it time and time again. So on that note, let's get on with it. I'm so excited to share these with you. So I've split them up into sections and I'm actually going to start with the colours because I feel like trend colours are a great place to start because you've probably already got a piece in your wardrobe in that colour or that tone that you can get back out again and style for the new season. So the first colours I'm going to start with are khaki and olive. As you can see today, I've got this lovely olive top on and I just absolutely adore this colour in the autumn. I did wear this in the spring summer as well. Again, it's translated from spring summer into autumn winter. So if you did have any of those spring summer pieces that you want to style for the evening or you can bring into autumn winter and layer up instead. So it's no surprise that these tones are back for autumn winter for me. They come out every year and having a real moment this year for sure. So we're going to be seeing a lot of monotone dressing this year as you can see from the catwalk looks wearing one colour top to toe. So we've seen these looks from the likes of Bottega and Ferragamo and I feel these tones work really well for those of you who, like me, who do have a neutral wardrobe as they really add warmth to your outfit. I especially love this time of year wearing these kind of tones because this is when you can get your darker denims out, you can get those brown tones out, all those gorgeous neutrals as well and I feel the khaki and olive tones really add a warmth to the look, which is perfect for autumn winter. The olive certainly adds a pop of colour today too. I absolutely love this shade that I'm wearing, so I'll show you this styled as well. You can also see a mixing of the tones in different fabrics, which I really love as well, as this really adds depth to the outfit and it just makes it that much more fun. Playing around with the same colour but then adding texture with your knitwear and then say a slip dress or a blazer, or if you prefer, you can go with a head to toe tailored look. If you don't want to do the full head to toe khaki and olive in your clothing though, you can add pops of colour in with your accessories and bags, like the Bottega one I've featured here at the bottom. If you do want to dabble in the trend just a little bit, then I'd recommend investing in a khaki blazer this autumn, as it can seamlessly blend into your wardrobe, as it's easily styled with your plain white tee and your favourite jeans. I've been wearing this a lot recently as well. So this is the Arquette blazer that I'm styling. I think it's the perfect shade of khaki to add into your wardrobe. Or you can go for an olive top like I'm styling today, as this too can be added in as a colourful basic to team with your other wardrobe staples for a pop of colour. So on to the next colour, and that is brown. So I know I featured this in my last autumn winter video as well and it's carried on right through summer back into autumn winter 24 as well, which I'm super happy about. So again, like the khaki and olive, we're seeing a lot of head to toe brown looks. 
it just feels really rich and is a softer alternative to black as well. I especially love it when the tones don't quite match either as I feel it adds depth to the look. So as you can see here, there's many head to toe brown looks from the runway with a mixing of the shades. And again, playing around with those textures, pairing knits with leather or a head to toe tailored look. So I'll share some of my favorite head to toe brown looks that I'm looking forward to styling this year. You'll notice I've played around a lot with the textures, combining suede and leather, with knitwear and you'll also have seen this gorgeous trench featured in my previous video too. I just absolutely adore this chocolate brown trench. It's going to be such a statement piece for me to wear this autumn winter. Again with the colour trends because it's so broad you can really tailor it to your personal style whether you want to go down a cosy casual route or you want to wear something a little bit more dressier. It's just all about having fun with those pieces and creating numerous looks for the season. Now onto the final colour and that is burgundy and I've actually honed in on burgundy bags for this section because I have seen so many on the catwalk and in the shops. It did start last year but I feel like this year more so it's become so popular and with the rise of the quiet luxury trend we were seeing more and more pops of this colour as it pairs so beautifully with neutrals and it adds warmth to outfits and I also feel like you could be wearing the most simple outfit and then you just throw in a burgundy bag with it and I feel like it just makes the outfit look so expensive. So as you can see from the runway photos, they come in all shapes, sizes and textures, which is great as you can style the one most suited to your personal style. For me, I really love the wet look leather styles that we're seeing coming through. So I've got this one from Cos. This is perfect for the daytime as a crossbody, but then you can also wear it as a clutch for the evening. So it's super versatile. And I also love the darker matte ones that you can see on the mood board. And my favorite one to style from last year was my Pelen crossbody. I love this bag so much. You will have seen this a lot in previous videos anyway, but I really love the shape and grain of this bag. So I'll link both of those below. Even though I've touched on burgundy bags here, burgundy in general is super popular this year. So as you'll see throughout the looks, I styled a burgundy shirt. So if you do have either of those from last year, then definitely get those out again. So talking of leather, I'm now gonna go on to the most popular fabrics for autumn into 24. And it might not be a surprise that this one is popular again, but this year especially, we're seeing a lot of the looks soft looking buttery leathers and also the wet look leathers too. So I've called this trend lustrous leather because I feel like that really reflects what's going on on the catwalks this year as well as what we're seeing in the shops as well. So it might not be the most surprising trend featured on here. You know that this fabric is going to crop up every single year. So as you can see from the catwalk photos, we're seeing it from shirts and skirts to dresses and trousers to jackets and coats, everything really. Whether it's got a glossy finish or more of a buttery finish, there was a lot more variety in colours this year too. Obviously, we have the black trench featured here. We're seeing so much more khaki. Again, as I said, a key colour in all fabrics. Brown tones and those olive tones as well. So because we're seeing this fabric in so many different styles, if you already have a leather piece in your wardrobe that you absolutely love, then definitely get this back out again. I for sure will be styling this beautiful brown leather trench. And then I've also added in a new addition, which is this leather jacket. So I've been after a jacket that looks like this for so long now, and I've been searching vintage and all the vintage shops, and then I found this on my Smo Duty. It's just the fit I was looking for, and it has that real retro feel. So now onto the next fabric, and that is suede. I feel like this year is the biggest year where I've seen so many suede jackets and skirts and shirts in the shop. So I know it's not the most practical one to invest in, especially living in Manchester when it's raining most of the time. However, we have been given some gorgeous weather over the next few weeks. So I'll definitely be wearing it every chance I get when it's glorious sunshine in the autumn months. So as you can see from the catwalks, we're seeing suede in so many different silhouettes and different tones of brown and beiges as well. I feel like the three colorways that are most popular are this chocolate brown, this deep tan and beige as well, especially the beige suede bags, which I just absolutely adore. 
And if you are looking to invest in a certain piece this season, I would definitely say the suede jacket or the suede bag is gonna be the most popular. And my advice would be to source these secondhand. So I've just got this beautiful suede one from a vintage shop in Manchester, which I will style for you now. And I also found a, another one on Massimo Duty. So this one is actually a men's jacket. I really love the fit of menswear jackets, so I went for that one. But they do have some gorgeous crop styles as well, which I've seen has become really popular recently. So whichever jacket you feel suits your style most, then definitely opt for that. So I'll link a few options below as well. But if a jacket is something you're really not gonna wear and you want to dip your toe into this trend, and I'd definitely recommend investing in a suede bag or some suede ballet flats like I've got here. So onto the final fabrics and that is silk and satin. So we saw so much of this on the runway in all different colours, all different silhouettes from dresses to tailored trousers to the pyjama suits. It was super popular and again this is a key fabric in any wardrobe. I'm sure many of you have a satin skirt or a satin dress already that you style all year round. So this is music to our ears because then we can get that piece back out and style it in so many different ways. So we saw stunning satins and silk on the runway in all shades, but I especially loved the rich tones, the beautiful burgundies, the okras and the neutrals. So as we can see here, we've got the gorgeous wrap necklines going on, the fluid draped dresses. I especially love this gorgeous blouse with the statement shoulders. So silk and satin isn't only for dressing up, but it can be dressed down too. So I really love to style my satin trousers with an oversized knit, and then equally they look great dressed up as well. And the same can be said for your midi skirts and your dresses. They're such versatile pieces. And the satin fabric as an elegance and a contrast to your autumn winter looks. So this is a great base to have and then you can layer up your knitwear, your blazers, your trench coats on top of your satin or silk pieces. Now on to accessories and I love finding the best accessory trends because this is the easiest way for you to tap into a trend without overspending and the best way to do this is through your jewellery. So one of the biggest trends we've seen on the catwalk this year is minimal and oversized and we actually saw this last year as well so this is definitely translated from spring summer into the autumn winter too and I definitely leaned into this styling with the larger jewellery. You'll have seen me styling my cos pendant necklace a lot which you can see is very similar to many of the pieces from the catwalk on here and I also love these resin style cuffs. I think they look super chic, they look gorgeous styled in the summer as well but equally look so beautiful styled over your knitwear. So I've actually got this really cute resin one from Amazon. So when styling oversized jewellery, so my tip would be to stick to one statement piece, whether that be an oversized cuff, a pendant necklace or statement earrings or studs, because this way you're making a real statement with your jewellery, but it still feels super minimal, super chic and it really makes the outfit pop. Now onto another accessory which I can't live without and that is belts, more specifically rope belts. So we saw these creep in on the catwalks last spring summer but they've become a lot more popular for the autumn winter and sometimes the smallest details can make a real difference to a look and of all the belt trends out there I feel like this one is so timeless and it's perfect for those of us who love a minimal look. I just love how the row have added it to their outerwear too so they've got this gorgeous oversized tailored coat and just put this tiny little rope belt on and I just think it looks super chic and I really love how it adds depth to the look and really cinches in the waist as you can see here with the white blazer and white shirt you've got the contrast of the black rope belt it just looks super chic super minimal everything I love and the great thing about this belt too is that you can style it high-waisted you can tie it around your shirts your blazers your coats or if you are embracing the lower waisted styles, you can style it on your hips too. It's a super versatile piece. So I think it's just a great accessory to add in to your wardrobe, not only for autumn, winter, but this will take you through all seasons as well. Whilst we're on the topic of cinched waists, this is gonna be another popular trend for autumn, winter this year. It was popular last year too, but I feel like it's got more of a resurgence this year as well. And we also saw a lot of this style in the 
summer too with the cinched in waistcoats but for winter it's definitely moved on into the blazers the jackets and shirts as well i am all for an oversized blazer but there's just something super chic about a cinched waist blazer i did feature this one that i'm showing you here in my previous video actually especially with the blazer it really does offer something different in your wardrobe as well so it's perfect for date nights whether you're going out in the evening you've got christmas parties coming up or equally you can style it in the day as well if you want to wear something a little bit more formal or if you don't want to buy another blazer but you still want the cinched waist look then you can absolutely use the rope belt to create this look now onto the final trend and i actually wasn't going to include this one because i don't really wear print however i have dabbled in this trend this year and that is leopard print this is definitely the most popular neutral print out there right now there was so much of this on the catwalks this year and we've already seen how many pieces are in this print in the shops currently. I feel like every single shape and silhouette and accessory you're able to get it in leopard print which is great because then if you do want to dabble into this trend you can just invest in say a scrunchie or a ballet flat like I've got here as well and I wore so much of this print when I was younger so part of me was like oh no it's back and part of me was like oh yes, it's back. So I was in limbo with how I felt about it, but I'm definitely leaning more towards, I'm actually very happy it's back again. So as you can see from the catwalks, you can see it comes in all shapes from beautiful blouses to trench coats. And I feel if you are a minimalist like me and you love neutral colors, and you do want to try a print, leopard print is a great one because it is made up of neutrals. So it pairs perfectly with an all black look if you want to add in a jacket, a scrunchie or a ballet flat for a little pop, or you can go bold and style the trench here, which Dior have done. But if those of you are like, no, can't go that far and you just want to tap into this trend, then I'd recommend adding in some leopard print accessories. So I've got this one here from Oliver Bonus, which I think is just super cute. I wear scrunchies all year round anyway, so this is a really nice way to add a subtle hint of it into your outfits. Or you can go a little bit bolder with the ballet flats. So like I said earlier, these pair so lovely with an all black look. Or if you were wearing a tan blazer and you wanted a pop of print, then you can style it with these as well. If you did want to go a little bit further and experiment more with the trend, then I'd definitely recommend trying out a leopard print jean or trouser. I just think this is the easiest way to add it into your wardrobe as well. So for me, I'd style it with a black knit or my black tee and blazer, which would then work as a gorgeous day to evening look as well. So there we go, guys. Those were my top trends for Autumn Winter 24. I really hope it inspired you. And as I said at the start of the video, don't feel like you need to tap into every single trend. These are just 10 that I honed in on that I thought are the most wearable and many of which you might already have in your wardrobe already, which is great because then you can get them back out and style them again this year. I honestly love making these videos for you guys because it's so much fun. The great thing as well about these trends that are featured is you can mix and match a few. So like you can style your burgundy bag with the leopard print pieces. If you want to invest in the khaki trend, but you want it in a leather, then that's great too. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think and let me know if you're gonna try any of them out. And I will see you all very, very soon.